All right, here we have question seven from uh, the calc test that we, that we did. And the question basically says, you're given a function f of x equals 1 minus 2x over 1 plus x squared. And we're supposed to show that the derivative equals 2x squared minus 2 over 1 plus x squared squared. Okay, well, so let's, without any further ado, let's get right to it then. So I have f prime x. I start off with a derivative of 1, which is 0, minus. That minus sign we got to be really careful of. And I always like to do the bottom of my thing first, so I'm going to do the quotient rule. 1 plus x squared squared. I write down my 1 plus x squared again. And then I start doing my calculus. I take the derivative of 2x, which is 2, minus, well, 2x is the top, times this part. So I go 1, oh, the derivative of that, so it's going to be 2x. That's a 2x. Okay, so now that minus sign is up front of that whole thing. I'm going to keep it here. Distribute this, I get 2 plus 2x squared minus 4x squared over 1 plus x squared squared, which is simply minus 2 minus 2x squared over a 1 plus x squared squared which is equal to, I distribute the negative sign now, I get 2x squared minus 2 over 1 plus x squared all squared. And I've shown it's true now. That minus sign was a real killer. The B part says, find the intervals of increasing and decreasing. Well, if we're going to find the intervals of increasing and decreasing, we need to consider couple things. We want to find out when this function, the derivative equals 0. So we want f prime x to equal 0. So I set up this equation, 2x squared minus 2 over 1 plus x squared squared. And now, even if I couldn't actually get the derivative, I could still do this part because they gave us this. So solving this equation, I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator, which will eliminate it. I'll bring the 2 over, so I get 2 is equal to 2x squared, divide by 2, and I get x squared equals 1, so x equals plus or minus 1. Okay, so there's two possible zeros, or maximums and minimums for the derivative. I also have to look where there are vertical asymptotes, which is the den denominator. And if I look at this denominator down here, I want to find when that's going to be 0. If I consider it, if it's plus here, it will never ever be 0. So there are no vertical asymptotes to consider. So if I'm going to look for increasing and decreasing, let's look at our derivative. And we'll look at our function. And we'll go at negative 1. And we'll go at 1. Now, let's do some analysis of this sign. Let's take a value of negative 5, let's say. If I plug negative 5 into here, negative 5 squared is a positive minus a small number. That's positive on top. This is always squared, so it's positive over positive. So overall, that is positive, so therefore it is increasing. If I plug a number between here, so let's say 0, I plug 0 into here, that's 0 minus 2 is negative over a positive number, negative. So that is decreasing. And then I take a big number, so 10 let's say, I put 10 in here, square it, is 100, 200 minus 2 is a positive value. This is always positive since it's squared, so this is positive and it's going like this. So increasing from uh, x less than negative 1 
and x bigger than 1, and decreasing negative 1 less than x less than 1. And then the C part then says, hence find the maximum coordinate. So we actually have to find the value. Looking at this sign chart, I know the graph is going to be doing this kind of scenario. So here, at negative 1, x equal negative 1 is a maximum. If I want to find the coordinate, I have to plug that in to f at negative 1 into the original function. And so if I plug it into the original function, I get, let me go over here, so f at minus 1 equals 1 minus 2 parenthesis negative 1 over 1 plus negative 1 squared, which is 1 minus a negative 2 over, well, 1 plus so 1 is 2, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the maximum is at negative 1, comma, 2.